Hello, welcome to Encouraging Word, a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. Have you ever heard it expressed that one of the great freedoms that we have, that we get to live out every day, is the freedom to be wrong? <laughs> you know, we get to vote, we get to make choices, we get to have opinions, uh, and we're not always right. Sometimes we're wrong. Uh, and other people are free to be wrong as well. Uh, a dictatorship decides what is right and what is wrong, and then they tell us how to act and how to think according to how they've defined right and wrong. A humorous thing I read just the other day said something about, I could choose to agree with you, but then both of us would be wrong. And uh, that's a snide little way of saying, I'm right and you're wrong. Uh, we live in a society that allows for people to be wrong, that allows for people to make choices that we may not agree with, and they may be right or they may be wrong. Jesus even addressed this in the Sermon on the Mount when he uh, elevated the standard of behavior for those who follow him, where he said that it's not just a matter of not killing one another, but rather we need to show respect for one another. We can't go around calling people names and calling people fools, and that just as uh, killing affects a person physically, obviously, and destroys a life. So calling names and disrespecting people destroys us emotionally and spiritually and is not healthy for us. And so we can't go around doing such a thing. We'll be held accountable for our attitudes towards other people. Um, we live in an age where putting down other people is acceptable. It's become a, a form of entertainment. We laugh at the put downs that uh, people have, at when, especially when we put down other people at their expense. Uh, we think it's funny. But for the follower of Jesus Christ, um, this should not be. Jesus expects us to treat one another with respect and honor, to live by a higher standard. In Philippians chapter 2, we are specifically told, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look out not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. And it uses the example of Jesus who made himself nothing, taking on the very nature of a servant. Jesus understood respect, and he understood what it meant to be disrespected at times. But he never allowed his disciples to disrespect others. Way, way back in the day, uh, Aretha Franklin used to sing R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what that means to me. And uh, we know what it means to be disrespected by other people. Uh, a boss, a co-worker, a schoolmate, a teacher, somebody in our own family, perhaps. We also need to learn, however, to practically learn uh, what respect means to other people and how we can show respect. It doesn't mean we'll always agree. Oh, we can still respect other people and, and, and grant them the freedom to be wrong or maybe in some cases even the freedom to be right and us to be wrong. Uh, it's been interesting in light of the Queen's death to uh, see how the royal family has been reacting to one another and hear all that goes on with them. Uh, it's amazing how the world, word respect comes into play and how people feel disrespected. The Queen was disrespected. Now the King, the King's children and the children's spouses and on and on it goes. Titles are given and taken away and then where they're physically placed in the lineup and where they stand and how far do they stand from one another. And it just gets a little soap opera -ish, doesn't it? A little crazy. Um, but the church, the people of God who gather together should be and can be the place where uh, people can know that they will be respected and honored, even if maybe they disagree uh, with others in the fam members of the family. Uh, we won't always agree or think the same thing, but we can respect one another and honor one another and even consider one another better than ourselves with God's help. Uh, maybe you've been hurt by harsh words or by criticism, 
and maybe you felt the pain of rejection. Uh, hang in there. God loves you. God cares for you. God has a plan for you. God's working in your life. And God is in complete control. And as we draw near to him, he draws near to us. He honors us and respects us. And, and we do the same to him. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your love today. Thank you that you care for us. And thank you for each person that takes the time to watch this today. I pray your blessing upon them. I pray favor will rest upon them. I pray today they will know the favor of the Lord Jesus being poured out into their lives. And I thank you, God, for uh, your goodness in each one of our lives. We give you praise today. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch today. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. God bless. Have a great day.